So is I'm audible to you, everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. So we, uh, Prishita, you were you absent in the previous class? Yes, you were. Yeah. Why? Why were you absent? So uh, I was outside. You was outside. Yeah. Okay. So let's start. In the previous class, we have discussed this one. We were just calculating the molecular mass and we were just discussing the what is atomic mass of an element. Okay. We have discussed that what is an element, uh, what is atomic mass of an element and why. Uh, so let's discuss this one. In the previous class, we have discussed what is an atomic mass. Atomic mass. So what is an atomic mass? So let's write that atomic mass is the mass of an atom. Okay. We can say that it is it is the mass of an atom. Or it tells us that how heavier an atom is, uh, how much time an atom is heavier than carbon, 1 upon 12th mass of carbon 12 atom. So it, it tells us how much an atom, an atom is heavier. heavier than then mass of one twelfth mass of carbon 12 atom okay this we have done in the previous class note it down So uh, my exam results came today. I got 61 out of 80 in science. 61? Just 61? Yeah. Where you did it? Where your marks is detected? So biology. Chemistry and physics was very good. Actually, we got very less time and we were just clearing your yeah. doubts. Okay, and you recently joined that one. That's why in the next test, or the next examination, mm. you will going to score very good marks. Okay, be sure. Yeah, yes, sir. So here, if I'm talking about that atomic mass, so what is an atomic mass? It is the mass of an atom. <coughs> okay. <laughs> and it tells us that how much an atom is heavier than one twelfth the mass of carbon twelve atom. Okay. Abdul Jabbar, you understood? Are you there? Turn on your camera. Okay, now next, what is this one twelfth mass of carbon twelve atom? Prashita, what does you, this, this mean? That what is the mass of one twelfth mass of carbon twelve atom? What does this word mean? So actually, when we are when we are just comparing isotope? the mass, no, no, no. Yes, it is an isotope. But if I'm talking yeah. about that, what actually is the one twelfth mass of carbon twelve atom? What does it mean? So it simply means that if we are having, if we are just comparing the mass of an atom. Okay, for example, if you are just going to measure the distance and you have a standard unit that is one meter distance. And if you get thousand times of this one, you will get, you have covered a distance of one kilometer. Okay. Okay. So, and if you have done five times of this one, of this distance, you means you have to travel a distance of five meter. So if you are, if you are measuring something, first of all, you have to choose some standard unit. For example, if you are just going to buy one liter milk, so there is a liter, uh, there's a vessel that is going to have one liter, uh, uh, okay? And we have just standardized that volume. And whenever yeah. uh, we just pour, pour the milk into that one, and when it is filled with up to brim, then we'll say that it is one liter, okay? So one liter, we have yeah. just made the standard unit for the volume, okay? Similarly, one, one uh, meter for the distance, okay? One second for the time, okay? Similarly, for the atoms, atoms is very, very tiny, very, very small, even... Uh, uh, means it is very, very small. You can't see this with, with the naked eyes and it, it has very, very low mass. So if comparing it, uh, considering one gram or one milligram uh, mass, 
considering one milligram mass for for comparing the mass of an atom it is just comparing uh, it is just like comparing the 50 50 or 1000 elephant kept at one side and just uh, an ant on the other side of the balancing uh, okay. Uh, okay so it is just uh, means you cannot um, imagine that how can 1 milligram 1 milligram for the if you are start, start comparing the mass of one atom with even with 1 milligram 1 milligram is very very less very very less okay that is tens uh, okay but in in comparison to this one to the size of mass of an atom it is just if we compare 50 to uh, thousands of elements on the one side and only a chat uh, on only an uh, end of the other side of the weighing balance so for that this comparison uh, taking the milligram as a standard unit for measuring the mass it is just distributed okay so we have just made an atom an atom to compare the mass of okay we have just considered the atom that we will consider one atom as a mass for measuring the other atom okay mass for so initially the hydrogen uh, after initially the hydrogen was considered as an in, as the standard unit for comparing the mass because hydrogen is the smallest of all atoms but due to some drawbacks hydrogen was removed and later we just consider carbon okay and when we are just comparing the carbon so since carbon is not the smallest unit Okay, and uh, carbon is not the smallest unit of an, uh, or we can say the carbon is but not sir, the smallest. But why just carbon? Because carbon is, uh, there are so many reasons. Carbon is easily available. It just forms in the atomic form. Uh, it, it is uh, found in, in graphite in the purest form. Okay, and uh, uh, easily available. Okay, and generally it forms sharing bond with other elements. So mm. there, there are so many reasons, okay. So uh, we just choose carbon for the for comparing. But when we are just comparing the mass of of a carbon atom, okay, in a weighing balance, for example, if you are just comparing the mass, okay, it is not just like a weighing balance. Just I'm going to uh, tell you without because this is not the way that how can we keep the atoms on one side and another carbon atom. We just kept one carbon atom here. Then then there were twelve hydrogen atoms were coming in this one. Okay, twelve hydrogen atoms were coming. So, how can we say that what is the mass of what is the mass of one hydrogen atoms? If we are just comparing the mass of carbon, carbon atom. So, can we say that one carbon atom is equal to 12 hydrogen atoms? So it is stupidity. Yeah. If I ask you the what is the what is the mass of one hydrogen atom? So you will like so to one say hydrogen that is uh, one by twelfth of carbon atoms. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Similarly, similarly, if I ask you that what is the mass of one magnesium atom? Uh, if we are just comparing the mass of carbon atoms, so when we compare the mass of one magnesium atom here, so we find that we find that 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 one uh, two carbon atom is going to have the mass is going to have the mass of one magnesium atom, one magnesium hmm. atom. Okay. okay. So we so we one can, two, one uh, carbon like atom half of magnesium is one carbon. Yes, how half of magnesium is one carbon. Yes, you can one say one by one. two magnesium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can say. Okay, so yeah. if we start comparing, if we start comparing this one, so we'll notice here that we'll notice here that uh, one carbon atom is equals to twelve hydrogen atoms. So it is an stupidity that if, if someone asks you that you have made an standard unit which is greater, and you are just comparing the mass of an atom. So what will be the mass of of uh, one hydrogen atoms, so you will write it in decimals. No, it is not possible. So instead of making the whole carbon atom as a standard unit, we just take its one twelve part as a standard unit. Yeah. Okay, we just take its one twelve part. So if we divide the carbon atoms into twelve parts, mass of one carbon atom into twelve parts, then we just take only one twelve part of that one. Okay, and we just made it a standard unit. Now you know that this, if we make this to standard unit, to measure with the other atoms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To measure it. Okay. So we we just we just made it. So if I'm saying one hydrogen, uh, one the mass of one hydrogen atom is equals to one twelfth the mass of carbon atom, carbon atom. Okay. So if we just made this standard unit, so we will we will be able to take it that that one twelfth mass of carbon atom we just consider it as one u, one twelfth mass of carbon atom, carbon atom was considered as one atomic mass one unit. unit. One atomic yeah. mass unit. Okay. Uh, one AMU. One AMU. One atomic mass unit. Okay. So instead of writing every time, we can say that one hydrogen mass is is one AMU. Okay. So if we know that 
what is the mass of one magnesium atoms here so you know that uh, one magnesium atoms was having the mass of two carbon atoms and how yeah. many such such total parts if one carbon atom has 12 such part of this one okay so in two carbon atom there will be 24 such parts because we have just taken only yeah. one 12th one 12th part mm. of this one okay so we'll have the mass of magnesium atom as, as 1 am 24 am okay similarly mass yeah. of one 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 sodium atom mass of one sodium atom is considered to be as 23 am okay got it and when we keep on so going, how will we divide the one uh, the 23 amu uh we just we just check like, uh, in in atoms uh, what is the value of one uh, so, uh, what was the previous element sodium yeah so what yeah. what is one sodium atom equals uh, hydrogen at no car carbon atom no it is just you can't say that every time we are just comparing we just having that mm. one carbon atoms okay uh, when we are having one carbon atom okay in place of it and we just keep it to uh, two carbon atoms okay then the mass of two yeah. carbon atom is greater than the mass of mass of one sodium atom okay because the mass of one two carbon atom will be 24 okay. according to the one amu standard okay but actually when we have just considered this one as uh, Uh, there are certain other method that we are just using. Not only we are just having a uh, scale. This is just I'm just telling you that we are just having carbon. You, you might be thinking that. Okay. How can sir? Sir, how much marks will this conversion pieces? or uh, some table like this come in the exam? Hmm. I actually don't know that uh, how much marks I, you are going to have for this portion. But actually, when we are studying, okay. we are just studying hundred percent. Whatever in the syllabus, we are just studying hundred yeah. percent. Okay, so that's why, uh, that's why this topic is very important. This topic is basic for the for the eleventh and twelfth standard. Okay, mm. so this is very important okay, topic. Sure. Now moving to the next part here is, for example, if I'm saying that uh, like like the mass of different different elements were discovered and we we were able to calculate the mass of different different elements. Okay. So by using this method, like for example, make this table in your copy. Abdul Jabbar, are you there? Yes, sir. Make this table, Sir, do we have to learn this? Yes, you have to memorize this. So, how many uh such tables do we have? How many such table do we have? Two tables. One is for atomic okay. number, another other for mass. Hmm. Done, sir. Done. Now, yeah. After this one, after the discovery of this, uh, when we are just studying this one, so when we are able to actually calculate the mass of mass of one, we, we I I am saying that mass of one twelfth mass of mass of one twelfth carbon. Atom was considered to be as one amu, yeah. one amu. But after the discovery and uh, as the technique technology is increasing, okay, we are able to calculate the mass of one carbon atom in grams. That mm. how much mass of one carbon atom is going to have in grams? So by spectroscopy, by spectroscopy, spectroscopy method. By spectroscopy method, we were able to calculate the mass of one carbon atoms. Okay, and that was equals to one carbon atoms mass was equals to one by twelfth 
sorry, in grams, it was equals to 2, 1.99, 1.99 times power minus uh, 24, 1.99 times power 22. 0.67 that's one minus yes it is 23 minus 23 grams okay let check one more time yes sir, i wrote it wait a minute yes it is fine 1.9 that's what Okay, now moving to the next part here, but actually this was not our standard unit. Hmm? This was not our standard unit. So, if I ask you that, what is the mass of 112th carbon atom? Because this was our standard unit. So, you have to divide it by 12. Okay, and you got it, you will get yeah. 1.66 into 10 power minus 24 grams. Okay, 24 yeah. grams. And here it is equal to. Sir, why did, how did it become 24? When you divide it, you get the decimal here 10 and then one. Okay, 1.9. Okay. Then you will get 10. Mm -hmm. So this will give you. Okay. So AMU, 1 AMU is equal to, is equal to 1.66 into 10 to the power minus 24 grams. And this is equal to 1.66 into 10 to the power minus. 27 kilograms. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Let's move further. So, uh, one second. Can I see the, yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you. Done? Okay. Yes, sir. Now, moving to the next point here, we have that is after discovery, when we are discovered, when the mass was discovered, this was a very uh, good achievement for everyone. Okay. And later, later, the mass was discovered and we were just able to calculate the mass in grams. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Now, let me explain you here that whenever uh, we are having uh, the we were in, in the previous uh, classes we were discussing the uh, laws of multiple proportions sorry laws of definite proportion laws of conservation of mass we have discussed okay the two laws we have discussed and there were some drawbacks of these laws also okay let me explain you that what yeah. are the drawbacks of both the laws okay. so law of conservation of mass conservation of mass so what does it say and mass can neither be created nor destroyed during a chemical reaction hmm? have you noted this one yes sir but the drawback of this one is drawback of this one this law is not applicable for nuclear reactions not applicable not applicable for for nuclear reactions okay so what exactly happens in the nuclear reactions I'm going to explain it. Not applicable for nuclear reactions. In nuclear reactions, actually, the atoms are broken. Okay. And some of the mass is converted into energy. Have you studied it? Heard about this equation E is equals to mc square? Yes, sir. I've this heard energy, about it. This is mass and this is the velocity. Like, hmm. okay. So sir, mass, C is velocity. Yes, C is the velocity of light. Okay. Okay. So when mass m m and c means this will going to have mass is going to have the relation with energy means it can be converted into energy okay so similarly Sir, it, it uh, seems like a very pretty simple equation but um like a few of the people say that it's hard so what is hard in that hard in that is that it takes 30 years for him to calculate the exact value of this one yeah hmm. Okay, because we are not able to calculate the yeah. values. How can we have, if I'm saying that E is equals to, let's suppose I'm saying, saying that potential energy or anything that we have, 
is going to have relation with this one then how how can you uh, say this one so this this took for exact calculation for this one it took many mm. years for him okay yeah so th this is a drawback second drawback of, is of law of law of law of uh conservation of mass sorry law of definite proportion definite proportion that this law is not applicable this law is not sir applicable. i'll just come in a minute okay okay come come yeah abdul jabbar are you there yes, um, i'm asking you continuously you are not replying where were you still why yes sir wait a minute yes. yeah okay so this law is not applicable for uh, a definite proportion is not applicable for the uh, for the mass of uh, for example if i am saying that in the previous classes we have discussed that when carbon dioxide is formed co2 is formed this will gives you c plus o2 will gives you co2 and what is the what is the ratio of their masses tell me sir i forgot oxygen is uh, one one oxygen is 16 52. and uh, yeah so this will be 44 hmm? yes sir so when you cut it you will get 3 is to 8 is to 11 yeah but have you heard about isotopes yes sir. isotopes are the different uh, form of an element okay in which they are going to have the same atomic number in same element but different masses okay yeah so okay. in case of isotopes this law is not applicable for example instead of having this carbon mm. 12 if we have carbon 14 then carbon 14 yeah. if burns in in oxygen oxygen then it will gives you carbon carbon dioxide it still it will give you carbon dioxide co2 okay but yeah. here is it 14 is to the ratio 32 is to 14 plus 46 okay so when you cut mm. it whether you will get yeah. 7 is to 16 is to 23 so here the ratio is being changed so in okay. case of isotopes, in case of isotopes, this law is not applicable. This law is not applicable. Okay. Note it down. Law of law, yes, law, of, law of definite portion is not applicable. Isotopes. In case of isotopes. Okay. And what are the drawbacks? Uh, Abdul Jabbar, can, can you tell me that what are the drawbacks of uh, law of conservation of mass? We have discussed this recently, a little uh, two minutes before. Can you tell me, Abdul? What are, what are, what are the drawbacks of? Tell me. Okay. He's outside. Are you sleeping? No, sir. So where are you? I'm asking you and you are not replying. Are you having your exam tomorrow? No, sir. No, sir. Then you still, why are you not replying? Hmm? Is there any reason? Turn on your camera. Sir, it's on. So let's talk about this one that in the previous class, uh, Prashita, we were not, you were absent. And that's yeah. why uh, we have discussed the drawbacks of Dalton endemic theory. Okay. So mm. what is the what is the drawbacks of Dalton endemic theory? Your face is not visible to me, Abdul. You have made your camera. I'm picking up my book. Okay. So if I'm talking about this one, that uh, what are the drawbacks of Dalton dynamic theory? The first drawback of Dalton dynamic theory that he said that atom of an element have identical mass and chemical property. 
this thing is correct that atoms of identical elements means if i'm talking about carbon and no. other okay they are going to have the same chemical properties okay okay means if i'm taking carbon 12 and carbon uh, 40 40 they are going to have the same chemical properties why let me explain yeah. because chemical properties of an element they depends. are mainly made up of one uh, single like carbon atom which yeah. just different masses yes 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 but actually why mass is not considered to be as a standard unit for for deciding chemical property for example if i'm having this carbon atom and this nitrogen atom they are going to have different masses same masses but they are not showing that same chemical properties if this is going to have six atomic number this is going to have seven atomic number they they are going hmm. to have the same so let me explain that what is actually the atomic number atomic number is the number of electrons present in an atom okay yeah and here this is carbon atom let's suppose this is carbon atom this is going to have two electrons in the first shell and second electron and four electron in the second shell okay mm. and this is this is like this is the nitrogen atom that is going to have two electron in the first shell and five electron in the second shell okay seven shell. atomic number means seven atomic number means seven shell, okay yeah this is one two three four five okay Now yes, you know that nitrogen requires three electrons to complete its orbit because every element yeah. wants to have eight mm. electron in their outermost shell. If it is not the first shell, because first shell wants two only, okay. But other element, yeah. other other shell wants to have eight electrons, okay. Huh. So this need three electrons and this need four electrons, okay. Yeah. And what is that thing that is making an uh, the mass of any element different? Let me explain. There are three subatomic particle in it. There are the three. Three subatomic particle, subatomic particle in an atom. In an atom, okay. The first one is electron. Electron. The second one is proton, and th the third one is neutron. Hmm. Okay. This is this is negatively charged. This is positively charged. Positively and this, charged, and, and this, this is, is no charge. Zero. No charge. Zero. Yeah. Neutral charge. Okay. Actually, when we have done the experiment and we have calculated the mass of an electron, it was found to be nine point one into ten to the power minus thirty one kilograms. Hmm. And uh, proton is heavier than an electron. Yes, 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 yes. And it was found to be one point six into ten to the power minus twenty twenty seven kilograms. And this yeah. is also one point six. And neutron is almost the same. Uh, same same mass twenty seven yeah. kilograms. Okay. So you can check that this is. Much heavier, okay. Yeah. Than this one, okay. Uh, this mm. one is much heavier, and they are going to have almost one uh, same size, okay. Yeah. Almost same size, and you know that uh, if I'm having, we we consider this one as one m, one point six six. It is one point six six into one point six seven, so approximately equal. Yeah. Okay. So both are going to have this with this mass and this mass. We are just considering. We have just calculated that one mm. m u was the mass of. Was equal to one point six six into s one minus twenty seven. Okay, this is also one point six six into s one. So this is also one mu. Okay, so and these two proton and neutron are present in the nucleus of an atom. Yeah. Nucleus of an atom. Okay. An electron is in the orbit. An electron is in the orbit. So nucleus does yeah. not participate in the chemical reactions. Okay. Hmm. Nucleus okay. does not. A proton so, also so present. So then, what does uh, the nucleus exactly do? Nucleus is uh, making the stability and help in making the bonds because nucleus is positively charged. It holds the electrons that are evolving. We have sun, okay, and sun. Yeah. Mean, sun. Uh, you know that Earth. Earth is rotating about the sun. Why it is rotating about the? Why it is uh, revolving around the sun? Because of the gravitational force between the sun and the Earth. Similarly, electron yeah. is negatively charged. Uh, and proton is positively charged. There is a force of attraction between them, so they are just attracting each other and just helping revolving. Um, yeah. So this is proton is positive. If proton is not positively charged, the electron will not revolve around it. Okay. Mm. They must have escaped. So moving to this one, if if I am saying that if I am having uh coming to the point here that uh why why same elements element. Will have, will have same chemical properties. Same chemical properties. 
same chemical properties okay so in case of in case of let's just take the example of carbon 12 and carbon carbon 12 this is the first shell this is the this is the second shell okay and this one is the first shell is the second shell here we are just going to have in the proton here there are six proton and eight neutron in this shell there are six proton and six neutron okay so if hmm. there are six proton yeah. six neutron and this this is going to have one one proton is going to have one amu mass so six proton will have but six sir, amu uh, yeah uh sir one of my teachers in the school told that the number of protons and the number of electrons are equal in a um an atom yeah they are equal i'm not sure saying we are just increasing and decreasing the neutron we're not saying that if i'm saying oh, this okay. is electron Hmm. Okay, this is six proton here. This is six proton here. Both are going to have six yeah. electrons here. E is electron. Okay, but here number of neutron may also increase or decrease. Okay, got it? Yeah. Yes, sir. Got it. So if it is saying that it if it is having eight neutrons, so this will become fourteen amu mass. Hmm. If it is having six proton, six neutron, they will almost double in size, but some uh, double in number, but some may increase or decrease. Okay, so for example, six and yeah. here it will be twenty three amu mass. Sorry. 12 EMU mass. Okay. So, because of yeah. this, it is heavier. It may have some different melting and boiling point difference. Okay. They may have a radioactive mm. in nature. It may be possible. It can release a neutron easily. Okay. Which we, which means that it is radioactive in nature because it has extra neutron. So, that is other thing. But if, if yeah. it, both of them are going to react with oxygen, if both of them are going to react with oxygen, are going to form carbon dioxide. So, you know that oxygen is going to have how many electrons in its outermost shell? Oxygen. Oxygen atomic number is 8. It is going to have 1, 2, 3, Stable 4, electron. 5, 6, 6. And, and carbon is going to have 2 in the first two. shell and 4 in the, four in the second shell. 1, 2, 3, 4. And, uh, okay. and then another oxygen atom. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So this is oxygen atom. This yeah, is carbon so two, atom. This two, is oxygen atom. If the carbon atom gives two of his uh, electrons to both of them, then all of them will become stable. They will they will become stable if, if they start sharing two, two electrons. Okay, if they do, if the two and it gets two, if it is sharing with two, it means it's two will also come into this orbit. So it will be like just yeah. one, two. It will be like just carbon, one, two. 3, 4, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then this will be coming like this, this will be forming like this, and this will be forming like this. Yeah. 8 of the carbon is going to complete. Okay. So here, since the number of electrons are saved uh, in both carbon 12 and carbon 14, so the formula oh. of CO2 in each case will be CO2. Carbon and oxygen yeah. it will not be CO3. Different chemical properties means that if, like, if I have a nitrogen instead of nitrogen, nitrogen is NO2, it becomes NO3. Okay. So, if I'm saying that nitrogen, in case if it is carbon, the carbon will form CO2, it will not form another. Okay. So, here they are going to have the same chemical property, whether it is a carbon 12 so or CO3. CO3 is carbonate ion. Okay. That is an ion that we're going to study. Okay, so talking hmm. about this one, that atoms of different elements, talking here, okay, that atoms of an elements have identical mass and, and same mass. So this is statement is incorrect, but this is correct. If it is identical atom, identical atom, they must have same chemical properties, okay? But this is, identical atoms can have different mass in case of isotopes. So not true. So are not these the do true. drawbacks? Yes, not true in okay. case of, of in case of iso isotope because isotopes are the elements having same atomic number but different with mass. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. And the second statement: atoms of different elements have different masses and different chemical properties. So they will have different mass and chemical properties. This statement: the atoms of different elements have different mass. No, it is not true. The atoms of different elements can have same masses. Yeah. Okay. For example, I have given you carbon 12 and carbon 14. 
and 14 is also for the is also is going to have the mass of nitrogen is nitrogen also have the mass of uh, 14 as that of carbon 14 atom okay similarly argon argon and calcium they both are going to have 40 atomic mass it is also going to have 40 atomic mass the atomic number is 18 to 18 to the 36 but it has more number of neutron okay yeah so that's why that's like so the has atomic 40. mass can be same but the atomic number cannot be same yes atomic mass can be same but atomic number cannot be if atomic number is same it means it is same element whether it has yeah. different mass okay so this is argon is 18 this is 40 this is also 40 okay yes sir so we can consider this one okay so let's move here and so can note I, it down. yeah 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 note it down that this is not true and these elements this is going to have same atomic mass but different atomic number they are called isobars hmm. isobars they are called isobars and if i'm having carbon 12 and carbon 14 they are they are called isotopes isotopes Is Wrote it down. Yes, sir. Okay. Done, Abdul. Yeah. Abdul Jabbar are there. The next one is atoms combine in a ratio of whole numbers to form a compound. Uh, prove the law of constant proportion. Okay. This law. So it may be asked that the question that atom is indivisible. And, uh, and which can't be created or destroyed in a chemical ratio. You have to mention it that it in a chemical. If you don't mention it in a chemical reaction, it means it is incorrect, okay? So atom hmm. is very, very tiny. It is indivisible. It do not divide it, get divided. The bonds, bonds are broken, but actually the atom is not broken in a chemical reaction, okay? So if atoms are not broken, the so mass of atoms will remain constant to conservation of yeah. mass, okay? And similarly, atoms combine in a ratio of a small whole number whole numbers okay uh, to form compounds this proves the law of constant proportion like we have seen that co2 they are going to combine in a, a small whole number okay like okay yeah yes sir so they are this law so it will be asked okay the relative numbers and kinds of atoms are constant in a given compound number of atoms and kinds of atoms are constant in a given compound for example if you are having co2 or if you are having water uh, water. So, if you can't say that in America it is going to have the formula of water is H3O, in London no. it is H2O2, no, it is not so. Okay. Yeah. If I am saying the relative number and the kind of, if I have water has two hydrogen, one oxygen atoms, so if it is, uh, then we will simply say that the number of hydrogen atom will be two in water and oxygen is one and it will be always constant. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> now, moving to the next point here is. According to the modern theory, the atom is the smallest particle of an element which take part in a chemical relation such, uh, such that during the chemical relation, atoms maintain its identity throughout the chemical relation of chemical or physical yeah. change. Okay, means atom does not lose its identity. Okay, it, it loses it. You can't say that hydrogen in water is not showing its property. Yeah, it is not showing its property because hydrogen, when react with water, it form what? Uh, sorry, hydrogen when react with oxygen, it form water. And water does not have the same property as the hydrogen and oxygen. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Atoms are very small and hence it can't be seen even though very powerful microscope. Okay. If you are having very powerful microscope, you can't see it with the yeah. uh, at, uh, with that one. Okay. Atomic radius of an atom. The atoms of uh, smallest, sorry, the radius of a smallest hydrogen atom is, is this one. Okay. And this is equal to 0 0.037 yeah. nanometer. That is very, very small. Okay. Yes, sir. Then these are the names of the uh, yeah, symbols of some elements. Symbols yeah. that we have to learn these one. For example, like we have copper, Cu double P or why it is Cu. Why it is actually symbol is the first two letters. Or yeah. first letter of the name of the element. Okay. And or the some, Latin names. Yeah, yeah, the Latin names. So, for example, if we have uh, sodium, sodium is actually nit natrium. And okay. 
Yeah. A. So that's why its first letter is NA. So similarly, yeah. okay. So Gold this is Aram AU. Aram. Yeah, yeah, you are right. Okay. So we yes, have sir. learned this one that is 1.6 minus 1 minus 27 kg. Okay, yeah. and then we have discussed this one. Now, how do atom exist? Atom is the most, uh, so atom of the most of the elements are very, very reactive and does not exist in free state. So they yeah. generally exist in, in the combined state. Okay, for example, if I'm talking about calcium, so calcium atom is not going to a, exist like in, in the uh, individual form. It will be going to exist in CaCO3 form. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Chlorine will not exist as Cl. It will, Cl. it will exist in Cl2 form. Hydrogen will not exist independently. It will exist in H2 form. Oxygen will not exist. It will exist in O2 form. Why they are existing so? In order to, to complete, become com stable. Yes. In order to complete their octet. So if oxygen is going to have six electron in their outermost shell, atomic number of oxygen is eight. Electronic configuration is two comma six. Yeah. You will. So in order to make their octet com complete octet. So oxygen is bonded with another oxygen atom. So they are generally yes, found so. in these stable bonds. Okay. Yeah. Now atom is atom is electrically neutral. Why atom is electrically ne neutral? Because uh, the number of electrons and number of protons are equal in an atom. And the charges of atoms and of an electron and proton are same. So that's why. Yeah. Okay. You understood? Yeah. What is a molecule? Molecule we have discussed that when two or more atoms chemically combine together, they form a molecule. Molecule may be of two types. One is H2, heteroatomic molecule, and uh, similar element when combined together, they also form a molecule like O2, Cl2. I2, they are called homatomic molecule. Okay. Yeah. You understood? Yes, sir. Like these are the homoatomic molecules, these are the heteroatomic molecules. So please make this table only this one molecules. Heteroatomic yes, one, make this one. Done, sir. Now, what is atomicity? Atomicity is number of atoms present in one molecule is called its atomicity. Okay. For example, if I'm saying that oxygen, there are two oxygen atoms present in one uh, one O2 molecule, so its atomicity is. Can you show me the one before it again? Let's go. Okay, not it, not it. Yes, the number of atoms present in a, in a molecule is called atomicity. So there are two atoms. So this will be diatomic molecule. Okay. If there are three atoms in like in ozone, ozone O3, then it is triatomic, triatomic in nature. Okay. Mm. Sulfur, sulfur form S8, it is it is going to have it, atomicity is eight. Okay. So number yeah. of molecule, number of molecule present in an atom is called uh, atomicity. Okay, so make this table also and note the definition. Yes, sir.
done so done you abdul jabbar abdul yes sir done yes so let's move further if i having uh if i if if carbon dioxide react with oxygen to gives you co2 and if yeah. we the simplest ratio for this one is 3 is to 8 is to 11 yeah okay if we have 0 0.25 grams or uh, 0 0.5 grams 0 0.5 grams of this one then how much grams of oxygen will be required and how many grams of carbon dioxide will be found? So can you help us in solving this? Yes, why not? Yeah. So, by what number should you multiply 3 in order to get 0 0.5? So, so, you have to write X. required upon given. Multiplied required upon given. Okay. Okay. So, R multiplied when you, you know and 0 0.5. So, you multiply 0 0.5 and the number should be 3. You got it? Yeah. Okay. So, if okay. you multiply 0 0.5 by 3 with 3, you will get 0 0.5. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. And uh, this will be actually now. So you have to multiply this number by 0 0.5 by 3. Okay. So okay. you have to multiply this number also 0 0.5 by 3. And this also 0 yes, 0.5 by 3. Okay. So 8, when you multiply, you will get 4. 8 when multiplied by 0 0.5, you will get 4. So this should be required yes, 4, 4 by 3 grams. 4 by 3 grams. And this will be uh, five point five by three grams. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Got sir. it. Yeah. Next, if you have n two plus three h two gives you two n three. Okay. And if you have uh, nine grams of hydrogen. Okay, if you have eighteen grams of eighteen grams of hydrogen, okay, and uh, yeah, and sufficient and uh, yeah. And 100 gram of nitrogen, then how many gram of ammonia will be found? One one eight. One one eight. You just add it. No. Okay. So what's the ratio for this? Uh, you can calculate it by your own. Okay. How many nitrogen atoms are there? Two. Two. And how? What is the mass of one nitrogen atom? Fourteen. So two is going to have twenty-eight. So write twenty-eight grams here, and write six three to the six one hydrogen atom has one mass. So you write one grams. Sorry, six six. Huh. Because there are six hydrogen atoms in place, then it will give you hmm. <clears throat> 34. Okay, so when you divide it, yes, sir. you'll get 7 14 is to 3 is to 17. Okay, yeah, yes, sir. Now, suppose if I'm saying that, suppose if I'm saying that if you have seeds, okay, if you have Two seats and five wheels. Then how many complete cycle you will be, will be found? Two 
two seats and five wheels. How many complete other other stuffs are available? But you went to the market and you buy two seats in five weeks. How many complete cycle will you will be able to form? Two. Two. And one wheel is extra. Hmm? Yeah. Because the ratio of uh, seat and wheel in the is two is to one. Yeah. Now, if you go to the market and you if you buy fifteen seats. And uh, twenty wheels. Okay. Then how many complete cycles will you form? Uh. You have twenty twenty wheels and fifteen seats. Hmm. How many cycle will be formed? Think it. Yes, sir. But the seats will be like one of them will be remaining. No, why one of them? Five seats will be remaining. Because 20 will make 10 cycles. Yeah. And for 10 cycles, we need only 10 seats. The so five seat is extra. Yeah. Okay. So here, yes, your answer is 10, 10 cycles. Okay. And yes. here, your answer is two cycle. Yeah. Two cycle. So here, the seat was limited. Field was extra. Yeah. And because of that, your answer, uh, you answer according to the seat, number of seat availability. Mm. Okay. And here, your seat is extra, but wheel is, wheel is uh, limited. So you answer 10 cycle just because yeah. of limit. The thing that is limited the reaction goes according to me. Okay. Yeah. So the things that is consumed first, okay, the reaction will end. So, so it is. But how do we know that if uh, some quantity is limited or not? Yeah, yeah. That's this I'm going to give you. This is for yeah. for example, the simplest ratio of N2 and 3H2 is 2NH3. And this is 3H2, this is 17. Okay. Got it. And you have yes, been sir. given this is 100 gram and this one is 18 grams. So cross yeah. multiply them. This is just a trick. Cross multiply okay. them with them. So 18 into 14 and 100 into 3. So 18 into 14 is, is greater. Will gives you greater Ooh. answer. Hmm? Yeah. And this will give you 300. So let's check 18 into 14. Two fifty two. Two fifty two. Two. Yeah. So it is two fifty two. Two fifty two is three hundred. Okay. That the answer yeah. which is which is giving you more the product which is giving you more is 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 limited. Will be consumed first. Hmm. Okay. The product where you find that it is more in cross multiply, this is limited. Means your answer will depend according to this one. Okay. Yeah. Now. You know that by what number should you multiply this three to get six? Now this is over. Just to find out that which is which, which is limited. This is limited. Okay. Now the, your answer will form accordingly. This is extra. So you have to multiply oh. three by six to make eighteen. So make this one also by yeah. six. Okay, and this is also by six. So eighteen. Yeah. This will eighteen. And how much for eighteen grams? How much hydrogen will be required? Eighteen six are eighty four. 